Hello everyone, and this is my Raw review for Monday Night Raw on October 1st, 2012. And just to go off and say it right away, uh, overall I did not feel like this Raw was a very good Raw to be uh, to begin with. It just felt it just felt like it was lacking in something. I mean, it's not to say there wasn't good segments and there was at least a good match in there, uh, a good match or two in there, but it just didn't feel. It just didn't have that feeling of it at least being a good show. It it kind of it just felt like it was lacking. But look, to go on some of the areas that um, that I definitely did like, uh, they did lay a good foundation for the aspect of potentially getting AJ Lee out of the general manager position. Not that she hasn't been entertaining there. It's just that you fit, you feel like they shouldn't really have been running with it too terribly long, and it looks like they're going to be trying to get her out of there. Um, it, here in the near future, uh, there was definitely one good, uh, definitely one good point in there. Uh, the Sheamus, the Sheamus Damian Sandow match, great match, fun and entertaining to watch. Um, the segment with Jim Ross and uh, CM Punk, uh, honestly, it was a, it was extremely well done. Just like the just like the segment, but uh, last week with Foley and Punk, the JR and Punk's. Uh, uh, segment was just as well done, if not maybe just a little bit better done. But it uh, also in that aspect, they they they're definitely testing the waters here with Ryback and seeing how uh, people react to him being out there with the WWE champion. Uh, and from what I was hearing, it was a definitely good response in that term, so maybe this is their backup plan if Cena can't go for the pay-per-view, but more than likely we'll be seeing Cena and Punk again inside Hell in a Cell. So I think they're just testing the waters here for maybe something down the road. Um, hopefully they'll keep Ryback around with The Miz or something like that, something in that aspect, just for the purposes of, you know, um, just for the purposes of, you know, building him maybe to the mid-card before putting him into the main event area in that aspect. Um, so a couple of areas that were very awkward on the show, the whole aspect behind the new group with, uh, uh, I believe they call themselves Encore, it's Heath Slater, Drew McIntyre, and Jinder Mahal. Um, obviously, there are a bunch of low carders in, in this case, and we're going to... I guess we're going to end up seeing where they're going to go with it. Maybe this is going to be their uh, little push to go a little bit further into the, uh, you know, get a little bit more airtime or something like that at this point in time. Uh, but let's see where they go with it. It, it definitely feels like a, a very weird mix, but it uh, definitely, it, it could work or it could just completely flop. I think they're just trying something here. Definitely, uh, so hopefully it does end up being good for those guys. Um, another aspect that I definitely did like, uh, I still like the tag team tournament. Uh, for uh, Basically the number one contendership for the tag team titles. Uh, I'm liking the tournament as it is. Uh, like I said before, doing it makes, doing it, doing it this way makes every match seem more important. They're doing one match per show. It makes it even more important at that point because you, that's, you're the only focal point of the actual uh, tournament for that night. So that's always a good thing in there. And uh, basically the main event. Obviously, Cena wasn't on the show in any way, shape, or form. So you weren't building anything outside of what people were saying about Cena before going into the pay-per-view or a potential match with Punk at the pay-per-view. Um, but with the main event in general, with it being uh, CM Punk and Dolph Ziggler versus the tag team champions of Daniel Bryan and Kane, or Team Hell No, and you had AJ as the special guest referee, obviously just a little more fuel to the fire to potentially put something against AJ to get her out of the GM area. Um, the tag match in general, I just felt like it was very randomly put together, having uh, both you know Punk and Dolph Ziggler team up against uh, the tag team champions. Obviously, you had the four ego area going again, uh, going in there. That kind of ends out working because neither team really, really works together in that sense. So that's usually a formula that they use for main event tag matches. Um, the match itself was pretty good, uh, liking. Uh, uh, like the fact that you know you have Dolph Ziggler essentially repeat what CM Punk did to him 
uh, weeks back with you know walking out of their tag match. So uh, the match itself was good, uh, but in general, it just felt like it was thrown together. Uh, much like most of the show. It just felt like it was a bit thrown together. You, you did have Miz in there with a, ma uh, a quick match with Zack Ryder. You also had uh, an area with Eve and Beth Phoenix having a match. Okay match in there as well. Also a, a little bit of tidbit towards the, uh, the Divas feud going in there. But just overall, the show felt like it was kind of randomly thrown together. It, it just... For whatever reason, it seemed like it felt like it was lacking in some way, shape, or form. Um, it wasn't a god awful show. It was just, you know, it just wasn't a good show in general. Uh, so basically, that's my thoughts and review over the Monday Night Raw. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.